Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our AV-8B Harrier and we're going to look at TOS or loft bombing. So we recently did a mission where we had to use unguided bombs to bomb a runway that was heavily defended with IR SAMs and radar guarded AAA and we died miserably because we had to fly over the runway to drop the bombs with a CCRP or auto. So what we've been shown, or my friend Shifty, thank you very much Shifty, has shown me how to do TOS bombing uh, from a distance using dumb bombs to attack a target with relative accuracy. So today we're going to be bombing this uh, airfield over there that's heavily defended I don't want to go anywhere near it I've got six times mark 82s so let's go and get our bomb set up first of all we're going to go to our stores page main menu stores click on our bombs we've got six three times mark 82s six mark 82s there slick bombs we have to uh, use the auto mode of bombing we're going to have auto manual or CCRP but it has to be uh, auto let's put a fuse on so let's go nose and tail instant detonation we want to drop all of them in a ripple so we're going to put the quantity up to six multiple we want one bomb to drop at a time and an interval between each bomb of 20. the next thing we do is to select a target point we're going to have to put a target point in the middle of that runway so that we can bomb on it we've got two well three ways of doing this one is we can designate from a waypoint and we'll go and do that in a second secondly we can designate a target from our dmt and second and thirdly we can designate a target from our teapot so we've already got a waypoint set up from the mission editor. We'll do the waypoint way first. First, if I click on this, you can see I've got waypoint one already set up from the mission editor in the middle of the runway. If I didn't have that, I could put that waypoint in by hand on the UFC, but uh, just to keep things short, we're just gonna use the mission editor. So now we're gonna convert that waypoint into a target point. So in this menu here, and we want the HSI, which is known as the EHSD here. You can see that we've got, that's us there, that's waypoint one there. We've got to make sure we've got waypoint selected, which we have, waypoint one selected, which we have. Click designate, sorry, track IR's playing up. Click designate there, and then it's given us a target based on that waypoint. So I'm going to turn my um, auto control off. You can see I've got an arrow pointing me to the direction of the target, and I've also got a tick up here on the heading tape to get to the target. And there you can see the target point on the ground. So I can bomb that target uh, that target point with a toss bomb if I wanted. So that's that. Now the second way is to designate from the D DMT sensor or the T-Pod. I don't have a T-Pod on today. Doing them is very similar. Using the T-Pod and using the DMT is very similar. I've got proper video tutorials on them so you can go back and watch that. But I'm just gonna use the DMT now for ease. Let me just get some distance away from the target before I get shot. So I'm gonna undesignate that target before I forget. You know, Okay, I've got a bit of altitude, I'm a few miles away from the target, so I'm safe to designate. So I'm going to click center select aft once, that takes me to LST, then I'm going to press it again, and that takes me to the DMT TV center. Now what I'm going to do is position my aircraft so that the path vector, which is, when it comes back, this chap here, roughly over my target, which is the, uh, the runway, then when I've got it roughly over the target, I'm going to press TDC. In fact, I better go and show you the controls. So, so far we've used sensor select aft to get to the D DMT TV. Then TDC action position is what it's called to do the actual locking. Then to slew the target point, we're going to use TDC aft, left, right and up. And to release the bombs, we've got bomb pickle. So let's carry on. So let's get our path marker vector over the target. TDC action there. You can see that's locked our DMT TV in position to a INS coordinate on the ground there. Now we're going to use our slew keys as we saw, TDC slew, to move it into a better position. Slap bang on the threshold of the runway there. So that is a target point locked and ready to go. Now we're going to go away and get some distance and get ready to run in on our bomb toss. So we want to get about 8 to 10 miles if possible to give us plenty of time. We also want to come in, in this case, roughly in line with the runway. So our bombs are going to fall down on the runway. While we're heading away, let's get armed up. Master arm on, air to ground mode, bomb selected. Double check down here. Yep, we're all good. Now we can see how far away we are from the target here. 5.5 uh, miles at the moment to the target. And the direction of the target is there. So we're going to put that arrow behind us so we can head away from it. Okay, I think that's going to do about 10 miles away we're going to turn in and it's spiraling turn dive turn now and we want to get as much speed as we can for the actual attack where's he gone there power on ok 
Okay, pretty much in line. So let's talk about the attack before we actually do it. So we need to get, first of all, I need to note that we need to get extremely fast. About 550 knots we found is best. Now the Harrier doesn't like to do that because it's not particularly fast. So ensure that you haven't got too many bombs. I've tried it with a full arrangement of 14 bombs. You just can't get fast enough to do it. You can bomb toss bomb slower but the slower you are the closer you need to be and so it basically becomes pointless the idea of toss bombing is you want to do it a good few miles away so we're going to aim for 550 knots IAS now that gives us a, a pull up point of 4.5 miles away from the runway shifty found so we're going to get to the threshold of the, from the target 4.5 miles at 550 knots and then we're going to pull up now we can do toss bombing at any altitude, but there's no point of doing it up high. The whole point of toss bombing is that we need to keep safe from defences. So it's almost always we're going to be doing it from the deck. So we're going to follow our auto bombing symbology. We're going to get to 4.5 miles and then we're going to pull up. In fact, we'll go through that when we get a little bit closer. So let's just finish our dive. We're on full power now because we want to rock up to about 500 clicks per hour. Sorry, 550. Still diving. Okay, that's pretty good. There's our target marked from the DMT. So this is our auto plumb bomb line here, the straight line. So what we're going to do when we pull up is to pull up fairly aggressively, not back hard on the stick, but just an aggressive pull of about 30-40% stick aft. We're going to then pull this path vector here up the plumb line and we want to keep it as centered as possible as we can. It's impossible to keep completely centered but as centered as we can. And when we get to around 30 degrees with the settings that with the speed and whatnot that we've shown earlier we are going to have a release cue start to work its way down from the top of the plumb line downwards. The release cue is going to be a thick horizontal line. That's going to work its way down and at about 30 degrees we're going to hold at about 30 degrees a little bit more and that release line in theory if we've done everything right will come down and hit the path vector there. When it hits the path vector there the bombs will fire. Now remember we've got a ripple so wait until every bomb has disappeared from the screen and then add a second before pulling away just to make sure we don't conflict with our bombs. With the toss bombing it's possible to drop the bombs and then dive a little bit and then the bombs are come above you which is weird i know but i've done it i've done it before in testing and hit you and land on you basically so like i said give it a second before you start to pull away or do anything just to make sure regards releasing the bombs we need to keep press and hold bomb pickle just as we start pulling up or just before we start pulling up and hold it all the way until the bombs have released completely then we can release the bomb pickle right let's get on with it power up to maximum we really want to reach our 550 knots by the time we hit our target get our trim sorted Maneuvering our plane to keep on that plumb line. Checking the distance, 6.3 miles, a couple of miles to go. We're about to hit our 550. I think that's going to be near enough, so wait for 4.5 miles now. And press the bomb pickle and pull. Now look for the marker. Here it comes. And hold. Oh, we went off a bit. We went off just the last minute. Right, I've checked it and I'm going to turn away now. Hopefully they won't be that far off, we'll just have to see. Just gonna get myself level so I don't crash. not perfect we managed to get one bomb on the runway you can see uh, that's what happens when you come askew of the plumb line I, I pulled left just at the last minute and you can see the last bombs moved away from the tax uh, moved away from the runway but generally speaking you can get them on the runway every time um, if you do it properly um, so it is relatively accurate as you can see within kind of plus or minus 50 feet in all directions I find so you can't bomb actual kind of um, units with it but you can bomb runways Clusters of units, clusters of buildings, and stuff like that. Uh, in fact, I can do better than that. Let me go and have one more go. Okay, on the last leg now. Still approaching 550 clicks. Just trying to keep on our plumb line now. Pickle release, hold. And let's try and follow this line up without skewing us side too much. Looking for our release cue. Here he comes. Oh, careful. We went off a bit at the end. Boom. Boom. Now the 
that's more like it. That was a much better run. Right, I hope that helps. See you later.